Hey guys, Abysmal here, and welcome back to our six months later uh, Project Zomboid experiment that we're doing. Uh, remember, we did just find our house. I have everything paused right now just for a second, just so that, uh, we can gather our composure because, you know, we're just going to be walking right into a mess right now. Remember, we have to clear a lot of zombies, and all we have is a baseball bat right now. Let's take an inventory of everything we do have, though. Um, we are getting chilly. Remember, I did say, I did talk about putting on a, a sweater once we did start getting a little cold. And I think I do have one on me. I have a vest, um, sweater. Let's go ahead and wear that. And I think I'm going to get rid of this vest, throw it on the ground. Um, we are a little bit hungry, so let's go ahead and eat these oats. Looks like they're good. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm going to eat all of them. Let's get all nice and fed. And then we're coming back, right back down into this house. Oh, wow. I guess I didn't need to eat that much. All right, now what we're trying to do is just get in this house, and it looks kind of clear uh, from last time I remember looking. I remember I walked down here, but there it looks it's looking clear, and maybe we could get inside now. Okay, there's going to be pounding, though. There's already zombies in here, so that kind of sucks. But that's all right. We can take care of them. We've been trained in this. And then we will have to clear out the rest of the place. Oh, come on. How are we looking on... Uh, okay, we, we don't need keys. I don't know why I'm picking that one up. Okay. I don't want to break the window. So I'll try to push him down. Come on. Fall down. There you go. Alright. Now let's take a look at the goods we got here. Um, garbage bags, some other things. Um, most of the stuff we're going to be leaving here anyway. So might as well start like unloading like our nails and all the other stuff. So let's start unloading things. All these canned goods, I'm going to put them back in here. Uh, this is where we're going to sleep. Um, I don't know how safe it will be, but we'll, we are going to sleep here. I'm going to keep my saw in my bag here. Let's see. Uh, the oats I'll keep on me because I don't have to open them with a can opener. Uh, we'll move all this over. I guess I don't need the saw on me. You know what? I'm going to leave the saw on me. It's one of those things that you find that you're like, you know what? If I lose that because of zombies overrunning the place, that's going to suck. That's going to make, that's like a game changer right there, there if I don't have that. Um, do I have a hammer still? I still have two hammers. I'm going to put one of these hammers in here. I guess the bad one. We'll put the bad one over here. Come on, move over. Uh, we do have a kitchen knife that's about ready to break. Um, a pistol and some 9mm rounds. They can move over. We don't need all that on us. Alarm clock. We can um, probably use it, but whatever. Let's see. Rip sheets, nails. Keep the nails on me. Alright. How's this baseball bat looking? Okay. It's okay-ish. Uh, butter knife. We can get some stabs in with that. Uh, so we got to think about weapons real quick. Got to take an inventory of all of our weapons here. Chips are good to keep on us. Forks. No, forks aren't good. Oh, look at this. Oh, is that all my stuff? That's how I was like, wham, look at this. That shelf was just hooked up. So, yeah, I'm the one that hooked it up. Um, I'll take another lighter. Uh, the oats are good. Like I said, the food on it was amazing. I didn't realize oats had that much. You can just eat it right from the can. Yeah, all this rotten stuff. Magazines. A lot of frying pans if we have to resort to that. And the butter knives, they did allow us to stab like five zombies. I'll take them with me. Okay. Is that everything? We're not going to get anything else out of these little shelves. Okay. I'm not hearing zombies outside. That's really good, actually. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You guys were surprising. Okay. Woo! Scared me, man. Okay, that should take care of these these two here. Alright, no loot on them. It's alright. I think sleep is going to be our first priority. Just make sure we have a place to sleep. We're not tired yet, which is nice. Oh, another baseball bat. Sweet. Okay. So far, this house is providing. This is going to be our base, too. 
It's providing pretty well for us. Um, yeah, nothing really. Oh, I got sheets and stuff. I can definitely put sheets on the walls. I mean, all, all the um, windows and stuff. Okay. Another school bag. Um, that's cool, I guess. All right, let's start closing these curtains. There we go. That's uh, the best protection we can get right now. Let's see if we can get some sleep. Let's see if I need sleep. I, I guess we could sleep a little bit. That's good. All right, got a night of sleep. We have a sweater. Um, I was kind of waiting for this rain to stop, and uh, the fact that it's raining outside is actually good. That means it's um, not snowing. I want to do some foraging. Foraging is going to be really important. See what we can get. We can get like um, logs and stuff, and if, if we, with the kitchen knife, we can make. Um, some stabbing devices with that like some stakes and stuff so I think we can at least I can't remember exactly we gotta make but we do gotta clear out zombies though I think uh, right now clearing out zombies is gonna be important especially after a good night's sleep uh-uh uh-uh no 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 uh-uh okay a little too many huh As long as I'm drawing him away from the house, I don't care. I'm just going to keep walking this way. Moving away from the house slowly. And that's fine. That's just going to draw him away from the house. And then we, we can do some other things with the house. See, there's a lot of zombies all over the freaking place. I'm going to just start attracting them on purpose. Loop them around the woods here. It's just going to give us a slight reprieve from the zombies for a little bit. It's not going to be long lasting. But it will give us a chance to actually do some work around the house. At least that's my hope. As long as no helicopter comes right now, it should be alright. But if a helicopter does come, I think I'm just going to draw, use it to draw zombies away. I think that, that's been the plan I'm coming up with right now. Yeah, look at all these guys. You guys all, you guys all need a life. Other than messing with me. It's like me against the world right now. Hmm. Okay. I didn't want to walk through that wood. Alrighty. I'm almost thinking about going up to the cabin by the lake. At least it'd be safe up there. Alright. We do have insane zombie counts. So there's just tons of zombies everywhere. Okay. I was kind of hoping we scared most, like got most of the zombies to walk with us through these woods, but evidently not. That's all right. You know what? I'm gonna attract them anyways. I'm gonna run through them. There we go. That should just move them all this way. And if once I get a chance, I'm gonna cut back west. Once I don't see a lot of zombies, which I don't think I, I think I'm just always gonna see zombies. No matter where I go, always gonna see zombies. All right, we're ready to head west. We gotta head west here pretty soon. Okay, here we go. Here's a little bit of an open spot. Okay, I'm gonna start walking now. And I should lose them in the trees. They shouldn't see me cut over this way. Then I can come back down and that should open it up a little bit and then I can uh, stay in the house for a little while do some work there. I guess I could, can I forage out here? No. I would like to hit up some foraging spots. And remember that other little house has a whole bunch of food at it and we could always go pick up all that food too. All right, now let's come back down. We should be right above the house. Oh wait. Which um, street is this? That's more towards the cabin. Okay, so we gotta. We're we're pretty far north still. And I think I went a little bit too far east, because I think we're by the small house right now. Okay. Come on. Should be seeing a house soon. Seeing some type of house. 
There's a trail. Any houses? The barn. Okay, there's a house. There's a small house. Yeah. Oh, no, this is the actual house. What, what house is this? Oh, this is the barn. Okay, this is that barn or whatever. That's all, all the way on the outskirts. It's just north of the house. My hopes are is that we can just walk right in. Did we ever go in here? I think we did, but I just want to take a look just in case we didn't. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we went in here. Hammer, um, I'll take a plank with me. I guess if we could start boarding up the windows and stuff, that'd be nice. Don't have a chopping device yet. I could make a makeshift axe. You know, one of those stone axes. Not a bad idea if I do some foraging for a rock. Or star chip stone or whatever. I hate using baseball bats. They're just too noisy. Oh my god. Look at all these. Too many. Already hitting too many. Alright. Let's just use the woods to our advantage here. It's going to take a while to kill this many. I'm going to have to burn them, I think, guys. Or I don't know. I really don't know what I got to do. Got to do something, though. Can't keep... Oh, no. No, no. Sorry. That's not going to work. Alright, I'm going to use this building to come around them. Then I'm just going to walk back into our house. We get, we got to figure out something better. I I got to have my stabbing devices again. You know, I got to have some type of knife. I have a kitchen knife. Um, I can make myself a blade um, from like tree logs and stuff if I can do some foraging, which I know you can do some foraging up here. I would love to do some foraging, actually. Let's see what we get. I think that's a good idea. Do some foraging for right now. There's that small house with all the food, which I do want to go to again. Um, and it was pretty clear, actually. I could always sleep here and stay here. Yeah, this, this spot was real clear. Didn't have a lot of food in it. Let's see. Yeah, there was a little bit of food in it. Um, some more oats. Oh, I'm pretty full already, so I guess we won't grab it right now. But yeah, there's there's quite a bit here, so that's good. I guess I could eat some food. Uh, let's just eat like a quarter of this. So these can of oats really fed me pretty pretty well. Um, that's right. Let's fill bottles. And, okay, let's go outside, do a little bit of foraging. I think that's going to be kind of key for us to start surviving well. I should be able to forage right here. Yeah. And I would fast forward normally, but like I said, there's just too many zombies to be fast forwarding like crazy. So we just got to forage, regular forage. And since I am herbalist, I should get some things, but who knows what I'm going to get. I'm not going to get a lot. I'm not high on level for foraging right now. So I might not get anything for a while. We'll just have to keep foraging and hopefully something pops up. What I really would like to get is like a tree branch or something like that. Then I could use the kitchen knife for it. Still nothing. I know I saw that zombie over here. I, I want to fast forward through my uh, searching foraging and stuff but I wanted to kill the zombie first before I did that okay can we forge here yeah no, let's fast forward okay we did fast forward do we have we have we found anything yet no 
Still not. Oh, I found something that time. Okay, there's a tree branch. Okay, now we can make wooden spears. No, what I really want to make... Let's see. I guess you can't make stakes. Um, we can make a spiked plank. A spiked bat isn't a bad idea. Let's make the spiked bat. It has a little bit more damage. I'll just do one of those. And a sturdy stick. I can't remember if we can make stakes. Um, wooden spears. No, it's just wooden spears. Wooden spears actually hit pretty fast. I wouldn't mind making that, but this is really what we wanted to do. Let's craft this uh, stone axe. And then now at least we can chop some wood. It's not that effective. It's not that great of a chopper. But it is something. And now we can chop wood and get some planks around the house, which will be nice. That's uh, something we needed. Can we put stuff away? No. We need to make some room here. Cooking for beginners. Actually, this plank, I'm just going to put it on the ground. It's just taking up too much space. And we'll put the raw axe. And now we have the spiked bat. And it should have repaired it some. Oh, no. The condition didn't go up. Um, repair? I need the wood glue back home. Hmm. This thing's going to break on me real soon. Well, if that's going to break on me, what else do I got on me? That's uh, maybe the butter knife next. Okay. We'll use the butter knife next. Kill a couple zombies with it. There's a, a zombie over there. There's a few coming in right here. I'm going to use the butter knife. No, this is crazy. Using a butter knife. I can kill him a little faster with the butter knife. One. And it's a little more quiet of a kill. I don't want to use the kitchen knife because I really need it for other things. Okay. I think there's literally like four kills per night, a little butter knife. So I get one more. Get one more kill out of this. Oh, shoot. That was a wasted swing. Yeah, that was it. Alright, so butter knife is gone. Uh, we have a kitchen knife with pretty bad condition. And we have this baseball bat that's in really bad condition, too. This thing's not going to last that long. I'm only going to get a few swings off of it. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, so now the baseball bat is broken, but I can repair the baseball bat. So I can't put it away, though, evidently. What's our next weapon now? Uh, the other baseball bat? Yeah. Let's go ahead and make it into a spiked bat. And then let's kill some zombies real quick. Oh, uh, yeah. How good condition? It should be pretty good. That's fine. Okay. And then we're going to equip it. Both hands. Right, let's go take care of some zombies now. Alright, you guys don't want to mess with me. I got a spike bat now. What are you going to do? Alright, there we go. There we go. Come on. When it's only like five or six zombies, no problem. Do this all day. That's when I get like eight or ten of them with a bat. I just don't really care to do that. Alright, let's see if there's anything special on these zombies. I mean, I could start making ropes and stuff. Um, but I'm going to always have a lot of zombies. So, What I need is sheets and stuff so I can put up on the windows. Well, at least I have that one room already set. I don't need that. I know I have some wood glue back home so I can repair that baseball bat, the other one. Alright, and then we're just going to continually do this. What we're going to do is just continually kill um, zombies around the house and then keep working our way out. That's the, that's the goal. The more we uh, clear out the area, the better. But the, like I said, the bats, look at this guys. What I can't stand about bats. 
This is why I don't like them. See how it's drawing just so many zombies? It is way too loud of a killer. No. I have to, I have to back off now. And I'm starting to get too many zombies over here again. But we'll kill. We'll just kill zombies. That's what we'll do. That's what we're trained to do. Okay. Pull them through the woods here. Oh, I wish I had a knife. Or like, you know, a knife that I could use right now. Hunting knife. Anything. Could make spears. Um, not a bad idea. I could start making spears. They hit super fast, those spears. But you, but they don't always work. Like, uh, they don't always get knocked back. And it scares me to use them because if they get up too close to you, you can kill yourself that way. With a spear. Oh, no, no, no. I could go fishing if I find a fishing rod. Okay. We're just going to keep doing this backward shuffle. And then hopefully we'll start killing them. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting a little too close. I'd like to at least kill one. Come on, guys. Oh, God. I wish a bat had a special move. Come on. Oh, there goes one. Okay. Alright, I got an itch on my eye. It's not feeling good. Alright. God, this parade of stupidity with the bat right here. I gotta level up the, my bat accuracy. It should be leveling up pretty soon, though. And I should take a look at that. Alright, no more, another loop around this way. Oh, a little, some crawlers. That's another reason why I don't like bats. <laughs> Makes too many crawlers. Okay. Some of them should be dying right now. Okay. There we go. I knew some of them were going to start dying. Look at those crawlers. It's pretty fast. Alright, we're starting to take care of them. They're starting to whittle down a bit. If I had my knife, they'd all be dead already. Oh! God dang it! That's gonna get a scratch. Oh my god, did I get lucky? I think I got lucky, guys. I think I got lucky. I, stay I thought I stayed there a little too long. Stupid crawlers. Okay. Finally, I think we're at the end of it. Oh, one more. One more walker and then uh, take care of those two crawlers. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, die. Okay. Duffel bag. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, we're going to be equipping that on our back. So right now we'll just grab it. Alright, duffel bags, anything else great? Not not seeing anything amazing yet. Make sure there's none of these are crawlers that can just pop up all of a sudden on me. I look oh man, see? Every time I kill a couple of you guys, just they're like roaches. You never get them all. Alright. Oh no, there goes my bat. Okay, I gotta repair these bats now. Okay, uh, any other weapons? Uh, I'm not gonna use an axe. Let's eat all this. I guess we can go back, go back home now. It's time to go home. Repair these bats and then we can start all over trying to kill zombies. Well that sucks. There's, there's a lot of zombies right there. There's some right here. I think we're okay. I think we'll get inside without attracting too much attention. Yeah. I think we're alright. 
And then let's fix these uh, baseball bats. That'd be best. Best thing for us to do. Uh, and any curtains. Let's uh, close all curtains. Open window. There should have been curtains here. I thought there was. Uh, butter knives. I'm going to start using them. Where's the wood glue? Yep, there it is. How about this? This has curtains, right? I'm going to start closing these off. And close curtains. It's not perfect, but at least it's something. You know, uh, it's a little bit of uh, protection, not, not a lot. Okay. Just so they don't see me walking around in, in the house. And close all doors because they could just come walking in or something. There we go. Bathroom. Close the curtains. This side is where all the zombies were before. So maybe I'll sleep in here tonight. I don't know. Like, I don't want to sleep in here though. Maybe the living room. But all those curtains are closed. I don't think they'll see me in here. But if they break into any of the other parts of the house. This only has one window at it. And it's right here. Oh no, there's another one right there. Hmm. Well, we got to get some sleep anyways. But oh no, we don't. No, we don't. We're all right on sleep. All right, let's start repairing some baseball bats. Um. Yeah, let's get this repaired up. Um, and let's get this one repaired up too. There we go. They used up most of our glue, and let's see how our skills are doing. Uh, blunt accuracy. We're getting there. Once we hit level one, it's uh, going to be a little bit easier. I knew I should have took Brawler. Really should have. And let's see how well we repaired these. Uh, I've got a 50% repair on them. That's fine. And now we have this duffel bag too, which is another thing we want to start working with. So uh, I want to get everything out of the school bag if we can. And then transfer it over to a duffel bag. And all this big stuff I have in here, like oats and stuff we'll move that over maybe I don't want to carry my hammer on me I don't know no I should always carry the hammer on me all right that should be clean then and let's unequip this school bag and equip the duffel bag my long list of reasons why I don't like um, uh, baseball bats you know, I'll keep telling you all of them. I really, I, there's just so many reasons not to like these things. They're, they're just a death trap. I gotta I use two hands to use them. That you don't even get the benefit you do from a lot of other types of weapons. Okay, I'm gonna take the oats with me, um, the saw with me in case we have to abandon this place. Water is always appreciated, uh, and we should take the axe with us, and at least one lighter. Okay. There are zombies right outside again. We got to take care of more zombies, guys. This is going to be a rinse and repeat for a while until we make a nice clean area for us. Hey, guys. I heard you guys outside. Uh, could you guys uh, leave the neighborhood? Uh, leave my yard? Uh, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to be silent. Oh, no, I'm not. Now I'm not. Okay. Oh, they don't like that. They don't like it when I beat on their zombie friends on the ground like that. Okay. Oh man, I want I want some stab. Maybe I'll go to some more houses. Pick up some more stabbing devices. Not a bad idea. Oh my god, here we go again. Big piles of zombies. Too many of them to deal with. We'll draw them this way again and, and then do the same thing, you know? Bring them over here and then start knocking heads until we kill a lot of them and then start all over again. How many kills are we at anyways? I think, oh, wrong pain. Let's see, we are at 73. Not too many, but we don't have great weapons yet. As soon as I get some better weapons, we'll be in business. Okay. Got a lot of fast zombies. Makes life a little harder for us. Okay, but we can take care of fast zombies. It's alright.
Okay, maybe I'll just lose them in the woods. Move them away from these houses. You know what? I want to look at some other houses anyway, so let's see if we can do that. Time to go look at some other houses. Alright, um, any migration going on? No. These guys aren't migrating at all. And then, uh, well, I, actually, I think that's about it for today, though. We have to get back home and get to sleep here pretty soon, so. Let's take a look what we got going on here. Um, I'm just going to rush into one house. We're going to at least loot one house. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a grab and go. Grab and go, guys. No. These, these zombies aren't... Oh, no. That was bad. Okay, let's just take a look real quick. Oh, it's going to be too many too fast. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. Die! Are you serious? I've been hitting her for like a year now. Oh my god. Alright, uh, chips, yeah. Um, canned soups. Anything really great? Uh, butter knives. Get a little, couple more stabbing. We'll grab that too. How are we looking? Uh, looking kind of bad. No, no, get off me, guys. Get off me. Ooh, they had a hold of me, actually, for a second there. I had to push them. That's scary. All right. Uh, how about this next house? Anything? I want to get in this other house. It has some stuff in it, in it actually, that I'd like to go into there. I think I've been in there, actually. I don't know for sure. But there is uh, some storage boxes in there. Maybe we could find some extra loot. We'll wrap these guys around this house. Okay. And then we'll come in the back door. Yeah, I think we're all right. Can we get him back here? A lot of pounding in here already. That should be a door right back here. Oh, is it over there? That's right. Okay. Ah. Okay, we're going to have to do another loop. And there's zombies in here. So, let's let them out of, out of the house. There's a lot of zombies in there, actually. So, that isn't a good house right now. Alright, so we went in there. We didn't get to look too much, but we did go in there. We did go into the chapel, right? Yeah. And then there's a couple houses over here I'd like to check out. And then uh, I think that'll be it. And then we got to get back home, get some sleep. I'm just doing this real fast, just uh, to get some get some loot. Since we got a duffel bag, might as well grab some stuff. Okay, we did go in that house because the door's open. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be too crazy, I think, for us to get any loot. Oh man, that's too bad. That is just too bad. No, it's not looking great. Not looking like anything I want to go to right now. Yeah, I can't get in any of these houses right now. Not not safely. Maybe the house at the end of here, the street. These zombies are migrating. All right. Yeah, we're just going to come out here and come back around, I think. I don't think any of these houses are going to show it, you know, have anything that we can get. Yeah. Storage shed maybe. I don't like places that you can't get out of, you know. Like I'd love to go in here, but if we can't get out of it, then I don't want to go in. All right. Well, we stirred the pot a little bit. Ow, sorry, hit my elbow. But I think it's time to go home. I don't think we're going to get... Unless I get, like, some more stabbing devices and things like that. Um, we're going to have to stick to our area and probably just forge for weapons and stuff. And we have the axe now, so we can start chopping wood. We can start barring up the windows and things like that. Now hopefully I can get back home without drawing a whole bunch of zombies my way.
Just keep using the woods here. And yeah, this episode's running a little bit long for me too right now. So let's go ahead, eat up half of this. Now we should be almost home, right? What house is that? That's the other house. Okay, this is the chapel then. Okay. We can still run a little bit. I'm glad we took fitness instructor. It has been helping out quite a bit. Alright, so there's a lot of zombies right here. I'm really hoping we've been clearing them out, like drawing them south. Eh. Every time I think that, you know, they just stay. They don't they don't move like they used to. They don't get attracted by you as much either. I think we can get back in our house. I'm hoping we can because there is a little bit of zombies around the house now. Some pounding on the doors. I'd love to get in this house eventually. It's not just not going to happen right now. I'm going to have to go in from the back, it looks like, to get into our house to get some sleep. Okay. Let's come around from the back end. Oh, no. This is awful, guys. Nothing I can do about it. We're going to sleep at the small house, I think, today. No, we're not. Now even the small house is starting to get a little bit too many zombies. I guess I should have stayed by the house and not done uh, this little deal. This was a bad idea. Okay. We'll just kill a couple here. Come on, die. These were the slow ones I think I left behind before. Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. That one looped around me. That makes things hard. Alright, we did that. Now can we go back home? Can we go back home now, please? Just stayed in the house. Can't even get around the back right now. Come on, guys. Get out of my house. All right, I'm coming around and hopefully we can get in the back end. Still hearing zombies. Okay, now I can start going silent mode here. Man, it's just taking a long time to get back home. Sorry, guys. I mean, to safely get home. I can get home. I just want to make sure I can sleep in there without all the windows being busted. All right. Okay. Now we just need to walk down this trail. Shoot. I didn't want you to see me. All right, come in from the back and I'm just going to go to sleep. Hopefully they don't start banging. I'm here in a little bit. How about right here? No. Okay, let's sleep. See what happens. Nope. I'm not hearing a lot of paint and banging on the windows. That's good. Scary, though. I'm waiting for him to. Alright, alright, that'll be it then. So I hope you guys didn't. Oh, they just busted in. We'll have to deal with that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see further. Take it easy, you guys. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.